वेल आई एम डॉक्टर मिलिंद एज एन आई सी टी मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर सेशन इज जस्ट मंथ अवे आई वॉन्टेड टू शेयर अ फाइनल मंथ स्ट्रैटर्जी एंड फ्यू इनसाइट दैट माइट हेल्प यू इन योर प्रिपरेशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स वॉट यू नीड टू सक्सीड इन दिस एन आई सी टी इज गुड रिविजन ऑफ ऑल द सब्जेक्ट सो अगेन द की विल रिमेन द गुड रिविजन नॉट गो फॉर एनीथिंग न्यू यू हैव टू रिवाइज वॉट एवर द थिंग्स दैट यू हैव ऑलरेडी बीन रीडिंग यू शुड हैव अ गुड कमांड ऑन योर बेसिक साइंसेस एंड योर शॉर्ट सब्जेक्ट वन थिंग दैट आई नोटिस्ड एंड विच आई रियलाइज ड्यूरिंग माई प्रिपरेशन टाइम एंड ड्यूरिंग वेन आई वॉज मेंटरिंग द अदर स्टूडेंट इज वेल दैट इफ यूर कमांड इज गुड ऑन योर बेसिक साइंसेस यू विल एंड अप इन द टॉप टू थाउजेंड रैंक्स दैट इज फॉर श्योर इफ यूर बेसिक साइंसेज आर वीक दैन इट्स डिफिकल्ट टू गेट इन टू दोज क्रीम रैंक्स practical knowledge again lot of you know clinical scenarios and uh, questions like cannula and iv drips are being asked so if you have done your internship definitely it has a added advantage in if you talk about the uh, nict i also want to talk about pvc air questions lot of students you know there have been difference of opinion about pvc air questions but i'll say definitely they are important if you have not done till now at least try to do three if you get time last five at least do this pyqs have a quick glance through explanation i know you know sometimes explanations are very lengthy and uh, you feel like you know not reading but just quickly go through it topics do repeat even if they are not going to give you the exact question the topics do repeat and you will realize in this uh, exam first read another important book that you know helps in nct preparation if you have not read it it's okay you don't have to go for it if you have read uh, first read and now now you feel that you know it's too much ab main isko fir se wapas nahi pad sakta just go through the charts and images and graphs that are there in the first read you don't have to you know read page to page you have to use this last month wisely now uh, as lot of students you know uh, there are a lot of saying about kya padhna chahiye you know what are the things for nct what are the topics that are important so i'm not going to go into details of that i have already given uh, i have released the videos about the important topics and classes you know they keep giving you the important uh, topics i just want to highlight few things uh, which i feel that are very important from the aspect of ini and in consecutive years we have seen questions from these areas for example from anatomy what they are doing like initially they used to give direct images from the nature atlas but now they are giving you the scans like sagittal and coronal views of the brain and they'll ask you you know identify the structure they'll give you the cross section of heart and mediastinum and they'll show the arrow and they'll ask you identify the structure so it's the same data but they are asking from the different perspective so my idea here is to sensitize you that this kind of questions are also asked also they'll give you the abdomen uh, slide of abdomen and they'll ask you to identify any vessel any nerve and is their favorite like for mediastinum for the chest and for brain they'll give you the different sections for abdomen and for the lower uh, limbs and arms they'll ask you for the vessels and nerve so that is very specific again embryology again a favorite part one two questions from embryology are always uh, there from these topics given uh, from physiology yes definitely uh, we are not seeing lot of questions from physio uh, recently but still cardiac cycle uh, about the muscle structure and their physiology about the fluid and electrolytes no different equations are there and about uh, some questions about the nephron and sometimes ecg also find their way i have seen in an exam when, when there were two three ecgs in the single line i paper so again that is the important point from the aspect of uh, physiology if you talk about biochemistry i think you are similar first read it's some uh, if you want to read one subject from yourself in first read i think that will be biochemistry because almost everything is there in first read so just make sure you don't only uh, know the enzymes you should know where they are there in the cycle because sometimes they for example they show you the krebs cycle and they will just uh, you know blur one enzyme and give an arrow and you, they'll ask you to identify which enzymes you know catalyzes this reaction there are glycogen storage diseases mycopolysaccharidosis and other enzyme defects there will be you know there as i have always shown and i have seen in the past also there are very brief clinical pointers you know there will be one very pathognomic like a cherry red spot or a crumbled paper appearance which will be specific for a particular disease and if you are thorough with that you can reach to the answer because as i have said examiner is not there to you know confuse you he wants to help you so that pointers will be there in the question that you have to identify again the classification of amino acid uh, dna rna protein synthesis a very difficult topic but particularly the questions find their way in the exam also what we have seen 
particularly in biochemistry is in metabolic disease they ask you the test sometimes they will show you the test tube you know if you add like uh, you know the, the ferrous chloride test or you know they'll show you the urine and the change in uh, the color so that also you should know so that is what they ask you in the metabolic disease and a lot of classes also provide you know the data about that from pharma the tables and the charts from first aid are very important there was a year when they asked lot of antidotes and uh, if you want to uh, and uh, aims or in ini also you can find uh, you know uh, the question about the recently approved drugs now there are a lot of recently approved drugs one of the idea that i would like to give you you can check last uh, gipmer papers like before ini uh, there was a gipmer different exam so you can just go through 3 4 year, uh, 2 3 years of gipmer papers and you can find lot of new drugs there and uh, that might be asked in your uh, ini ct now about patho general patho is very important first four five chapters are very important for my, for ini there will be question about the genetics and inheritance pattern the pedigree will be given and will be asked to identify which type of transmission you suspect and again the f- images from the first aid and robins are will remain always important for uh, patho for micro uh, now the covid has gone so but still you know in last year there was some questions about the covid vaccines apart from general microbiology bacteriology and virology i and i specifically specifically asked about parasites fungus the cycles because there are a lot of parasitological uh, you know infections where you see lot of cycles the life cycle of a parasite that is also you should be familiar with and std sexually transmitted diseases again from the psm point of view and micro and uh, medicine point of view again very important uh, topic if i talk about miscellaneous so apart from this this should be your checklist you should go we should be thorough with these topics so from fmts the toxicology is important there are there are declarations of like helsinki declaration of tokyo you know there have been questions intermittently fmt is a very important subject 8 to 10 questions you'll get from fmt uh studies i talked about for uh, psm lot of students they run away from the biostatistics but i'll say just know the basic stuff st- biostatistics what is specificity sensitivity uh, sensitivity what is odds ratio so <clears throat> you know a very simple question comes from that so it's a very good uh, thing to get your marks new programs that are launched by the government of india like you know ntp which was earlier uh, an rtcp now it has become a national tuberculosis elimination program you should know the updated like inform uh, infant mortality rate and this kind of data and targets that the government of india have released we should be thorough with that for surgery apart from the regular topic like breast and thyroid are the examiner's favorite trauma these burns and the questions about the basic instruments are also very important for uh, obstetrics gynae uh, you should never uh, leave infertility contraception and infections and from pediatrics point of view developmental milestone they'll be showing you the baby who is doing certain thing you have to identify the milestone congenital heart disease and vaccines are again important from the view of inis so that is all about the topics that i wanted to tell you now few pointers Uh, if you think about medicine medicine you cannot read page to page it's a vast it's a huge subject so remember trust me you have to do go topic wise and most of the medicine question can be solved from your basic sciences knowledge psm has a significant overlap with pedia in terms of immunization pharma derma and micro so even if you can't finish it it's fine surgery again have a overlap with your anatomy patho and uh, retinal but uh, again you have to read the important topic from the surgery so don't read this big subject from page to page Uh, in the last uh, one month or it will take a lot of time so for this one month make a final plan so now you have a strong subject where you are getting about 70 80% of accuracy and the subject which are, you feel you are still weak in so if the subject are basic sciences i will advise go and read your notes give more time for that you don't have to search for any shortcuts because this subject are going to put you in the top ranks if you are big four or weak like your medicine or your any psm and surgery i'll say don't read book to book page to page just visit the high yield topics and areas if your short subjects are weak if you are to, if you are getting if you are not confident about that i'll say go for last five year pqs because law, short subject they don't change much with time and you'll get the same questions again and again maybe asked in a different fashion or a, maybe they will be framed differently so if you are looking for a timetable that how should i frame my day i'll just uh, given this sample for anyone who is preparing and if you're struggling to make a timetable this is just a sample timetable that you can make for next 30 days so give like around morning hours for a major subject and combine it with a shorter subject like radio 
and then have your lunch again start with the theory solve at least 100 mcqs daily even if you can't go through the complete explanation just have a glance and you can give 30 minutes to 1 hour for your first read you can use it for a nap as well if you don't want to read during that time and adjust it somewhere else so this is just a frame that how you can study and now it's time that you know you have to give your all you have to use every minute because next 30 days are going to be extremely important so when you combine your large subject or a high yield subject like uh, pharma biochem patho with short subject like radio dharma or so so you finish things fast and i will also say that start your time table with the subject that are very important for ini so uh, you will finish them fast and you will not get that tension in the end that i am not finishing my portion so lastly remember you have to give your 100% in 150 questions so it's not all 200 questions that is going to decide your wrong rank it will be the 150 questions which you will be knowing so remember you have to use your energy there and uh, i'll release the strategy about how to attempt your question paper and i'll uh, talk in detail about that so uh, finally hard work will beat the talent when talent doesn't work hard that is we all know you're just one month away from the life that you have and the life uh, you want and it's definitely in your hand and the people who are focused and healed from the previous wound are the most powerful and dangerous people and trust me even if you have not got the good rank in the past you'll definitely get a very good rank this time and there are no shortcuts on the road to success if you feel that you know i'll join something else or do something magical in the last month trust me you have to do the same thing again and again because at the end of this race not who knows more but who remembers more on the exam day will win so and for that you have to revise well so guys i hope this video helps you i wish you all the best and take care